Hi family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you this beautiful Cabco home. This is unit 918. And we're gonna be touring this home today. So let's go in and have a look-see. so this is the living room when you walk in you're facing the fireplace it has a nice brick brickwork and brick mantle two large windows on either side you got a ceiling fan in here nice 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 area for your living room let me turn around and let you take a look so that is your living room that's the door we just came through, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Awesome, so from this corner, that's what you have. These walls are two by six, finished sheetrock. Cattle corner over there to the living room. You have your dining room kitchen combo. Love the space in this house, how it's kind of broken up but open. You've got a large window here in the dining room. Can lighting all throughout. Here's your kitchen. You have dark wood cabinets. This home is actually sold, but they hadn't locked the door yet. So I had a chance to come in and uh, show you what it looks like. Can put two or three bar stools here, depending on how they're made. Love the, kind of looks like a chandelier, but it's pendant lighting. So you have a light on either side. I think that is so cute. Black appliances, built-in microwave over the stove. Love that you can put decor over the shelving. Love the huge industrial sink. And all of these Capco homes I'm noticing have drawers and cabinets. And I absolutely love that. It gives you so much space. I love the detail on, y'all learning how to work this gimbal. Love the detail, the hardware on these cabinets. This is really pretty. Very nice. It kind of reminds me of the spoon and fork sets my grandmother had when I was growing up. If you're old enough to remember that, it'll be familiar. <laughs> You've got a window over the industrial sink. Love it, love it, love it. Now, what I didn't show you before, and I'll show you now, is that off the living room, you've got a porch. Love it, so you've got double sliding glass doors here, and you can go out onto your, if it's open, you can go out onto your built-in porch. So this home has a built-in porch, you guys. You could just put steps here, or you could build a huge deck off of it but it has a built-in porch that that you can see out onto the porch from the living room or into the porch if you're sitting out here and one of the kids holler you can look in the window and see who who that is, who is that in there making all that noise while you're out here with a cup of coffee in the morning a glass of wine at night or or if you're me a cold glass of lemonade because I don't drink <laughs> so very nice you've got your sliding glass doors here that overlook your 
back porch. Really nice. You can look out into the living room from there. And then the kitchen from here. So awesome. Let's go take a look at the utility room, which is on the other side of the refrigerator. Through this door, you've got your utility room. You've got a back door. And then your washer and dryer go there. Lots of space in here if you want to put uh, a mud room area over here. You could also do a deep freezer. You could do shelving for storage. So much space in here. So much possibility for what you could add to this utility room. Very nice. All right, so also off the kitchen are the guest bedrooms through this door. Your utility room's there, and then your guest bedrooms and bath is over here. You've got guest bedroom number one. This way. Got your closet over there. And then you got your guest bath here. Got storage there for towels and personal items. Tub shower combo, your toilet, and then you've got your sink and mirror over here. More shelving and cabinets there. And then over here, your second guest bedroom. Really nice. So you got two by six finished sheet rock, two by six walls throughout, finished sheet rock throughout. Very, very nice. Hope I'm saying it right. You guys now don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to those kind of details. So on the outside of the home, there's a sign that says two by six walls, finished sheet rock. So that's what I'm repeating. Love the concrete here. And the mantle is also concrete. Very nice. So off the living room this way is your master. Really nice. Close, why don't you? Squeaky door. All right, let's go take a look at the master bath. I see right off the showers to the right. So you got your shower here, and it has two benches in there. Very nice. Across from the shower, You've got this long counter space, lots of cabinets and shelving. You even got the open shelving at the bottom. Really nice. Got mirrors and lighting above the double sinks. Really nice. Let's look inside. So you got deep cabinets. Very nice. And then you've got your drawers, really nice. You've also got this space over here, more storage. I could see making a really cute spa area with rolled towels and lotions and things. 
Whatever you like, really. It's really up to what your taste is, but you got so much storage in here that you can do it. You've got a window that opens over the deep soaker tub. Your toilet is there. So I'll scan the room for you. That's me fanning myself, y'all. It gets hot in these houses. No AC or fans or anything. And then through this door is the master closet. Really nice unit in here. Love the detail. You've got the LED fluorescent light in here. So it's lots of lighting. Got space for your tall items to hang as well as your shorter items. Two units right there for pants and shirts. You can put shoes and purses right there. Really nice. And then more shelving there and a transom window. Amazing. Nice, 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 nice closet. Awesome. Love it. Don't even mind the dark wood. Really nice. Awesome. So let's go see how much this puppy costs. Love, love, love the built-in back porch. Love it. All right, Cabco, model MDFS17, unit 938. That's how you find this home. It's a 32 by 68, 104, 104,000. Not bad at all. Not bad. The base price includes delivery, setup materials, setup blocking, tie down, central hair, heat and air, concrete block underpinning, and also the port concrete footers. If you need extras, there's the cost there. All right. As always, all of the information, including the price, will be down in the description box. This company also has a Facebook page. Their link will be down there as well. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee, oh But there's something holding on Hard to fade away, fade away.